Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in a YouTube and Instagram hop that is called Just a Girl Who dot dot dot. And I chose Just a Girl Who Loves the Sea. And I created a cut file on my digital die cutting machine and it says Just a Girl Who Loves the Sea. You can see there it's in a circular format. So kind of like a wreath. Um, and I am using a photo of my feet I am sitting on a boat in the ocean, and so it's just my feet and part of the boat in the ocean. And I thought um, it was a perfect way to um, just document my love of the ocean. And so I'm also going to use a secondary cut file. This is a free one from Paper Issues, and it's called White Caps in the Lake. And I am going to use that to add some Vicky Booten iridescent glaze um, and I want it to look like little waves but first I want to do some mixed media on my background so I am using some distress ink and I'm just using the smooshing technique and um, I am using or maybe maybe it's called the packaging technique I don't know I've heard it both um, called both things so call it what you want but I am basically smooshing a little bit of the ink and water mixed together onto my background. And I am using oxide inks in Salty Ocean, Faded Jeans, and Speckled Egg. And then I am going to add a little cracked pistachio and some twisted citron um, to get some of those green undertones that, you, that the ocean has in it. Um, you know, the ocean's not completely blue. It's got a lot of green in it as well. Um, depending on where you're at. So I wanted to capture both colors and that's going to tie in some of the embellishments that I'm going to use as well. So uh, here I go with the greens and I thought oh my gosh that's awfully bright. <laughs> it really is bright. That's a lot of green. Um, but I am going to tone that down. I'm going to add a little bit more speckled egg on top of some of those areas to uh, tone down some of the green. And then I pulled out some Shimmers Creamies, and that's in Sky's the Limit. It's kind of this purpley periwinkle color, and I really like that because um, in the photo, um, my toenails are that color, <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty good um, addition. And, you know, the sky has a little bit of that color in it as well. I mean, this photo does have a lot of blues and green hues in it, so um, a good mix of those works perfectly for this background and there is no gesso on this background at all it is just plain white cardstock um, it's not even the Vicky Booten foundation paper or anything like that it's just plain old white cardstock and I have found that it works really well if you tape it down to a surface and I'm using a piece of foam board that is covered in packaging tape, uh, tape so that the um, it provides a moisture barrier between my paper and the foam board. So um, I just cut that piece of foam board down to like 14 by 14 and I can tape my paper right onto it and that way when it's drying it can easily be moved off to the side and then when I want to work on it again I can pick it up and move it back to my desk and if you let that sit and dry overnight all taped down like that it go, your paper will go back flat. You don't have to put it under books, you don't have to worry about it being in your album to flatten it out or anything like that. But you have to make sure it's completely dry. If you take the tape off too soon, it will definitely still be warped. Now I kind of just created like a fold over so I could see what I was doing uh, through that stencil there. Or it's actually a cut file, but I'm using it as a stencil. And um, I you can see that I, there's some blue tape there holding the middle of it together. I cut it on a piece of uh, cardstock that had already had a cut in it. So I knew I wasn't going to be using it as an actual cut file. I was just going to use it for the stencil. So it was kind of like it had some extra cuts in the paper and such. So that's why there's some blue tape holding the center of it together. And now I'm going to just go ahead and back my cut file with some of this periwinkle type color paper and that is from Jen Hadfield's uh, Chasing Adventure and I really like this color with the colors that I've got in the background and so I decided to go ahead and do that and I'm not going to make you sit through all of that but I do back a couple of the letters here just so you can see how I do it basically put the paper on there trace either around the outside or around the inside of the letter 
If you trace around the outside, you've got to cut it a little bit smaller. If you tra tra uh, trace around the inside, you've got to cut it a little bit larger. Um, and then I'm just using my a Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to go ahead and adhere that piece of paper to the back of the cut file. And all of my uh, letters are all backed in the same paper. So I'm not doing anything fancy uh, aside from just backing the cut file in general. I did take some time um, to sprinkle some additional ink over my layout and you're going to see that in just a second here and the colors that I am using for that are let's see here I pulled out some Heidi Swap Ocean and Teal and some Nouveau Sparkle Spray in Marine Mist and that's the Nouveau, one, Nouveau Sparkle Spray right there I do have a bottle of Dilutions off to the side that um, Oh, I guess I did use, nope, I didn't use the dilutions. I think I sprinkled it right where the picture's going to go just to test it, and it was too dark. Um, so that is uh, the Heidi Swap in Teal and Ocean are the two colors that I'm using. And I really like how it's starting to look, and I really like how it looks with the cut file on there. So I'm trying not to get a ton of mixed media outside the cut file. I don't mind the sprinkles out there, but the packaging portion that's smooshed on there. I don't want it really too far outside of the circle. I want that center um, to be, I want it to be centrally focused. Now I did get this paper because that is the paper that I used to put on the um, inside of my cut file and you saw I just ran out of adhesive so I had to go away and take care of that and yeah I got my paper all stuck but I'm gonna fix it. Nobody's gonna see that when I put it down. Um, there we go, got it all down fine. And I really do like how that looks. And I think that that periwinkle color is just like the perfect color for this photo. And it, it matches my toenail polish perfectly. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna go through all of these embellishments and they are a, a variety of embellishments from um, Heidi Swap's Art Walk, uh, Fifth and Monaco, and Let's see what else. I have some that I I had uh, purchased a digital uh, package, a digital paper pack, an embellishment pack, and I had cut or printed out some of the florals from those, and that wave is from that as well. I don't use the wave, um, but I will be using some of the florals, or not really florals, but the greenery. And then I do have a couple of other things from P13's Sunshine, and those are the pieces that I just pulled out, and they're underneath the photo there. Um, and those cameras are from that as well. And same with the palm tree 3x4 card. Um, the little piece that says enjoy the little things in Periwinkle there, that is from Chasing Adventure from Jen, Jen Hadfield. So uh, I just, these are all pieces that I am using for my trip to Hawaii album. And so that's why they are all in one box together. So it's easy for me to get to. Um, and when I work on this project, I just grab that box and the stack of paper for it and go. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down, and I'm going to play with it a little bit and move it around because I I put it down out of round, um, and I put it down a little bit low on the page, so I had to kind of play with it to move it around. And I don't think it's completely round when it actually gets stuck down at the end, but I had to go with it because um, the, the the glue was starting to dry on it and I was like, you know what, if I mess around with it anymore, I am going to end up with a ripped cut file and I don't want to have to back that whole thing again. So I just kind of straightened it up where I think you're going to see it the most and then I'm going to stick my photo over there and my photo is backed in that same periwinkle paper and then a navy blue paper as well. Um, and white. So white first, then periwinkle, then navy blue. And that's just to give a little bit of, add, of added weight to the photo and a little added focus to the photo using the darker color kind of draws your eye in a little bit more. And now I'm going through embellishments. I'm sticking down some that I think I'm going to use uh, onto my acrylic block. And so I keep some kind of in the forefront of my mind that, yeah, I'm going to probably end up using those. And then I cut out this, uh, this was a clear sticker, and it said, uh, this is my happy place, or find your happy place, I think. 
and I think I'm going to use it. It does not make the cut at the end of the day, but um, I did, I really tried. <laughs> I really tried to hit it on this layout, and you'll see me move it around quite a bit. Now I'm going to use some of these labels down here, and then I will use some of the word phrases on top of those. And I do like this um, 3 by 4 card from P13, and I like it so much I'm going to cut it in half vertically so that I can save part of it for another layout in my book. And then I'm going to use the other half on this layout. Now I'm also pulling out some little word sticker phrases from Fifth and Monaco, and that one is from Art Walk. And those say stuff like good for the soul, good time, I'm loving this. And I thought those were, were really good words for this particular layout, just chronicling um, this part of our trip and that I do love the sea. Um, I, I don't get out to the sea very often, but I do love it. Um, in fact, on this particular trip, I did some snorkeling. My husband is not really into snorkeling and that kind of stuff. Uh, he has asthma and it kind of like it's harder, harder on him to do it, but um, my daughter and I both are scuba certified. Um, and so unfortunately she wasn't with me on this trip, so we didn't do any scuba, but I did get to snorkel, so that was a lot of fun. Now I'm just layering up around the photo to draw some more interest in there, and I know I want to use the little palm tree card for the journaling, and I know I want that camera on there because I've got a whole sheet of these style of cameras from P13, and I really love them, and so I am scattering them throughout my book onto different layouts, so they kind of tie the entire album together, and I know I want this greenish one because it uh, it pulls in the greens from the the mixed media, and it, there's a little bit of pink in it as well, but it also has a little bit of that periwinkle, and so I really just wanted to use that one, but I was having a hard time because there's a little gap underneath the little dark blue phrase that says good for the soul between it's like a little corner between that the camera and the circle cut file and I want something to cover that but if I keep moving the camera over it covers up the words of the label so eventually I will put some uh, of that greenery down there and that will cover up that little trapped corner that looks like it needs something in it and here's where I try and get that find your happy place thing on there. But the problem I was having with that is it has this like turquoise metallic writing on it. And it didn't go with anything else. I mean, it goes generally with the layout, but I don't have more a lot of pieces of that to like bring it into multiple uh, embellishment areas. So it it just didn't go with the whole vibe of the of the layout. So I will ditch it shortly. <laughs> and here's where I'm trying to figure out about this greenery and I am going to put a smaller piece coming out the other side and that's going to take care of that little spot that I was really annoyed with. And then I was thinking, okay, well what if I bring this this camera up to this corner as well? This is a, a circular tag and I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and do that. But then I wasn't really crazy about having two of the same camera on the photo there, so that's going to get changed. But I do want something in that same kind of color tone because they're a little bit creamier than the white background. And I don't mind mixing the white and the cream as long as there's um, both in multiple locations on the layout. So I think that just ties it all together. So I chose to use this girl it's the back of a girl. She has like um, a racer back type top on. You just see her back and it's her, like her hair. She's got like um, a fruity drink in a coconut shell in her hand. Um, and I thought, well, this this is perfect because we didn't really spend a lot of time just at the beach when we were on our trip. We were either out looking around or we stopped and visited the beach, but we didn't just like hang out at the beach. And so I thought this was like the perfect place to use her because the title is just a girl who loves the sea. So I thought, okay, I'm going to stick the, her on there. 
and there I'm covering up that little annoying corner that was giving me trouble and then I'm going to add some periwinkle glitter filled enamel dots and I like how those look and I'm adding them to both both uh, corners of the photo and then I'm also going to add some in the green color and I like how that looks because it pulls in more of the green that is in all of the greenery there and then I am going to end up adding something in this upper right hand corner because I thought that side was lonely and it needed something to balance it out so while I play with that let me tell you a little bit about this hop there's a bunch of us playing along uh, this is something that um, Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life has put together and um, there's a whole bunch like I said playing along I don't know what everybody else chose as their title uh, we just had to start with just a girl who and um, so all of their links are down below in my description box go check them out and see what they chose to document so I have this little banner piece and I decided it needed a little bit of distress ink on the edges so I'm using the speckled egg and that is going to pull in more of the the blues up into that corner and give a little oomph to that that banner piece because it's basically creamy creamy on white um, it's actually the same color as the the tag with the girl and the camera because it's from the same paper collection and I just trimmed the top of it down quite a bit and here you're gonna see me take it off because uh, I did run a black stitch all the way around the layout actually it's not black I lied it's navy blue um, <laughs> and so here is the foam tape that I pulled off the back of it I'm just trying to figure out where I want it because I already put the glue on the foam tape and so I had to peel it off and run a stitch across the top of that as well so that it kind of pulls it all together now I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off by adding some enamel dots up there and that's gonna basically do it uh, my journaling basically just says there is just something about the ocean that calls my name to me this was the best part of the trip the seawater the spray the sunshine and the wind in my hair to be on the water or under it is the best um, that is gonna take us pretty much to the end of the layout oh, I'm just gonna stamp the date down here with the little uh, header that says making memories and I'm adding that this was on the Nepali coast of Kauai. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you're not, I'd love for you to subscribe. And uh, join me back here next time for the next video. Thanks again. I hope you have a great day. And don't forget to check out the ladies down below that are playing along. And give them a little bit of love as well. By the way, if you leave me a comment, I will get back to you. Sometimes it takes me a few days, um, but I do, I do try to get back to everyone who comments. So again, thanks so much. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.